Hello. Um, this is sort of a outline of an installation on a Johnny Bucket Jr. Uh, front loader bucket for a Cub Cadet LX46 XT2. It's a 2017 model around there. Anyway, just kind of was going to just mainly show a video of uh, kind of what it took to install it and uh, hope you can get something out of it. Anyway, uh, where they have you start on this thing is these side frames are the first thing that you put on here on both the left and the right side of the tractor. Um, <clears throat> and then you put on this front front plate. This is the mount plate for the actuator and the actuator lift arm assembly for the bucket right here um pretty straightforward there's a few holes in the uh instructions but nothing uh if you have if you have any kind of uh mechanical knowledge or, or work on things for a living uh, it, it's it's pretty simple to kind of figure out what they're going for um anyway you've got the uh lift actuator and they provide you know the pigtails for coming out there um, and then you kind of follow the wiring on down. I got the model with the, well, it's, I think most of them will come with the dump, dump, uh, feature. And then here's the dump actuator. It's got a clevis pin for the back here. And then the clevis pin that's kind of under the guard. It's kind of hard to see There you go down under the hole there. Um, but, uh, so far this thing has been 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 awesome uh probably the hardest thing is wiring it up and it's not hard it's just time consuming because uh i have on these cub cadets here's the here's i don't have the hood on but you can kind of get the picture of what it looks like and the year model so they, this is the model they put the battery underneath the seat and that's really it's okay for anything else but for this project it kind of sucked so Anyway, because most of the Cubs, the earlier Cubs, they have the battery in here where the gas can is. And I think I've heard people say that the installation of this system with just the standard switches for the bucket dump and the bucket lift, you know, took about two to three hours. Well, it didn't, it took a lot longer than that for me for a couple of reasons, and I'll explain that here in a minute. But one of them, I think, had to do with the fact that that stupid gas can uh, was moved to where it's at. Instead of the battery being there, that would have made things a lot easier. Anyway, I will follow on around to where the wiring kind of comes up. You know, they have you, they have you zip tie it here and say that's a good place. And it is a pretty good place as long as the pin stays in. Um, you got your wiring here. And then and then I just, uh, I used, I had to clean this real good so that these anchors would here, adhere. And then you kind of pick up the wiring harness for the hood LED lights uh, and then you just kind of you can kind of see you follow that follow that down through here you kind of route it up here this is the way I chose to do it there's like a hundred different ways you could do it I had some slack that I had to pull back from my control area because it was too much wiring um, I don't think that's going to be too much of a loop uh, it's pretty durable wiring and it's it's uh got a lot of insulation in it too so anyway i don't think i'll have any issues there another issue and it'd be kind of hard to see in this particular well maybe i can point it out but there's a there's wire loom down in here um and you can see i had to follow well go on the other side here we go let me go to the other side and you can kind of see this a little bit and i had to take the deck off the cutting deck off to be able to get to this so but yeah you can kind of see right there where my fingers at the loom and then there's the other two wires those were the ones that go back and connect to the battery they go underneath the tractor and then they go back underneath here under the frame so they run along the inside of the frame where the harness that comes back here to the battery area which you'll see here once I lift the seat. This comes up 
from alongside the left side of the frame there up over here and it basically comes to where right past the um, uh, starter solenoid and so then you can, can see where these two get connected up to the positive and then of course the negatives right here uh, that was uh I would love to say that was the fun part but that was the least part of it least favorite part of the job anyway I opted for the I said I haven't put the uh, steering wheel on or the or the top part of the uh, steering wheel trim and all that but this is I chose for the the uh, get it out here in a minute the joystick um, option uh, I'm a former operator so I kind of remember how things are supposed to run in, in, in the world I learned in for operating heavy equipment and uh, John Deere loader controls I remember you know up down, a lot of them probably the similar but you know the the bucket when you pull when you pull down the joystick the bucket goes up you push down on the joystick it goes down down or push forward rather and um, the left when you bring it to the left it would curl and when you bring it to the right it would dump and that's exactly how this works uh, the schematic for this joystick was not really a schematic it was kind of just uh, <laughs> some things thrown together like I said the instructions left a little bit desired but most of you who are looking at probably doing something like this or uh, probably have mechanical knowledge and, and can figure these things out. So I'll do a quick little demo. Hopefully you can see the bucket. Um, so I'm going to pull back on the bucket joystick. And you can kind of see it's coming up. It's kind of hard to get it all in there at once. So it comes up pretty high, about 10 inches from the, right there, okay? And we'll go to the right for the dump feature. Okay, and then I'll come over here and you'll see, see that. Okay, and then we'll bring bring it back down. And you can even see on this has got down pressure. I can lift the front of this tractor up. So watch, here we go. Front tires coming up off the ground. And putting them back on the ground, there we go. You can even get some, uh, even some digging action with this bucket going if you need to, you know, just, uh, but. Anyway, um, I hope this has been helpful. I hope I haven't left anything out important. If I do, I'll try to post another video if possible. But uh hope this helps. Uh, we like the Johnny Bucket Jr. product so far. Uh, we haven't put it to work yet, but we'll post another video about how it works later on. Thanks for watching.